Hey YouTube, welcome back to the channel. It's been a while since I gave an update on this uh, Red Sea Reefer. I think it's been maybe about a month now. So I'm just gonna go over some very uh, few, few of the things that happen inside the tank. Um, some good, some bad, and uh, some crazy stuff actually. So uh, to begin, um, to update, give an update on the uh, last video over the pito crabs. Um, they have been doing a very great job of clearing my bubble algae actually. And I used to have a bunch right here on this rock with the uh, frimbophilia or hammers. But they really cleared it up and there's still some left but I would say together um, I did put four into the tank but I think one of the smaller ones died so together the three bigger ones they cleared about like 70% I would say of the bubble algae inside the tank there is some left and I'm pretty sure um, it'll take a while before they actually clean up uh, everything but uh, I'm very happy with them from uh, reef cleaners and I would totally recommend to anybody dealing with bubble algae um, I've even tried fox faces and um, emerald crabs. Um, I would say the little uh, smaller female emerald crabs, I do see them eating bubble algae for me, but not to the effectiveness of uh, these pito crabs. So uh, there's that. Um, the second thing that happened was um, this tank had a very, very massive uh, alk spike. So I want to say I used to keep my alk around like 8 to nine and i think it spiked uh past like 11. so uh essentially what happened was i was using an old sulfur uh test kit for alk and uh, every time i tested it, it kept coming back around like seven so i found that extremely low for what i'm used to uh, testing so i was like test uh I was, sorry i was dosing some alk buffer into the tank and uh, after a few days I, I realized something was uh off and I totally forgot that I bought the new Aqua Force test kit to kind of replace that old one. So I used a reference solution inside of the uh, Aqua Force's test kit. And essentially what happened was my Salford test kit, uh, it was coming up back with uh, inaccurate results. I'm not sure if it was um, left out too long because I checked the expiration and it still had like another year left on it. So um, I guess the less, uh, lesson here is to um, kind of not trust your ordered test kits after a while. But yeah, so um, after that, a lot of my corals were uh, not happy. You can see um, the hammers are not as fluffy as they are. Uh, I think my torches took the biggest hit out of everybody, to be honest. So the torches uh, don't look happy at all. They're really like stubby now. And even the ones at top. So yeah, I think the torches probably took the biggest hit out of everybody. But um, overall, none of uh, the corals really died. I did have a, a chalice receding, not the flaming Bugatti, but the, um, I think it's the PCP flamethrower. That one started receding a little bit, so I put it into the sump, hoping that it could uh, recover. But other than that, not much has really changed inside the tank, besides um, my yellow sester finally coming out of the rock after like two months. So I'm not really, really sure what driven this uh, new behavior change, but he's out and about now. And uh, yeah, I'm just glad he's back inside the uh, water column, hanging out with the other guys. Um, so moving on to some uh, other crazy stuff that happened. Uh, my two clownfish here actually uh, spawned for the first time inside the tank. So I was really happy about that. They spawned uh, right between these two Ghanis. Uh, I came home like two days ago and I looked inside the tank and I realized um, we are kind of like moving funny, so I guess it was their little like mating or whatever you want to call it, the little dance they do. And I did see uh, some little baby eggs. Um, you can't see them now because what happened was I came back three hours later and the eggs were gone. So I'm not sure if the parents, um, apparently they can eat the eggs if they feel threatened. I read about that. <clears throat> or if uh, one of the other fishes that got to it. So uh, yeah, pretty neat. I, I never really had a... Um, even if they were going to lay eggs, I really wasn't going to raise the fry because um, that's just a whole different level that I'm not really prepared for. So uh, yeah, it's pretty cool and I'll probably see them spawn again in the future. So yeah, pretty neat. Um, that night, I'm talking about like uh, t maybe like 12 a.m. or so, I uh, was looking at the tank after uh, the light period and I actually caught my hermit crab spawning like right here on the rock so it looked kind of funny because i was like oh my god it looks like the hermit crab is about to uh, get out of the shell so i was kind of like recording it 
But then I realized as it was coming out, it was like looking a little bit bulky and uh, near its abdomen, I guess, had like a bunch of babies. So I saw it like kind of just throwing it into the water column. Um, I'm pretty sure none of those little shrimp survived, or sorry, those little hermit crabs really survived because um, I don't really have shells or anything for them. And I'm not too familiar with their life cycle, but yeah, kind of like a once in a lifetime thing caught the hermit crab spotting. So it's really, really cool. Uh, but yeah, that's essentially about it. I did a massive cleanup yesterday because um, after the bubble algae has kind of died off, uh, green slime or green cyano, I'm not really sure. Maybe it's just film algae started like coating the rocks. So you can kind of see a little bit on this rock at the bottom right here. But I did like a massive uh, cleanup, not really a water change, but more like um, taking a turkey baser and blowing the rocks. And uh, a lot of the stringy algae, I'm not, uh, it doesn't look like cyano, it's not, or sorry, uh, dinos, but some like brown stringy algae is really starting to take hold of the tank too. So um, I guess that's like the trade off. I also attempted over um, like the past two weeks, I was starting to. Um, kind of dabble with um, dosing ammonia. So it sounds really funny, but uh, essentially ammonia gets turned into, uh, I guess, nitrate in the short term. But corals actually prefer ammonia over that because uh, I think it makes them, <clears throat> it's just easier for them to uh, take in. So I was testing that a little bit. Um, it was raising my nitrate up to i mean i have really low nitrate so it was like barely detectable maybe into like the two range but um it started fueling a lot of the uh, unwanted algae so i stopped that for a little bit <clears throat> i didn't really see much difference after uh dosing ammonia so i might give it another try in the future once the tank kind of just calms down but uh overall it didn't affect any fish um can't really say much with the corals so there's that Uh, so yeah, that's really a general update on this reef tank. If you guys liked the video, make sure you like and subscribe or put any comments if you guys have any questions. Um, I appreciate everybody who checks the video out. And yeah, so not much has really changed. Um, no new corals. Try and just, just keep everything alive after that uh, massive spike. But alright, I will see you guys next time. Peace.